Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Hanji's channel. For today's tutorial, our lesson is about angle of elevation and angle of depression. So for our objectives, we will illustrate angle of elevation and angle of depression. We will also solve some problems on angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, let's begin. So let us define first what is an angle of elevation and angle of depression. We have here a lamppost. It is mounted vertically but its base fixed to the ground. Say a person is standing some distance away from this lamppost and looking straight at it. The line drawn from the eye of the person to this standpoint where the person is looking is called the line of sight. Since this line is parallel to the surface, we call it the horizontal line of sight or simply the horizontal line. Now, if the person is looking at top of the post, in this case, the line drawn from the top of the post will be the line of sight. We see this line makes some angle with this horizontal line. This angle is called the angle of elevation, in which the angle of elevation refers to the angle between the line of sight and the horizontal when the object being observed is above the horizontal line. Thus, for angle of elevation, the line of sight is above the horizontal line. What if the person is looking at the base of the post? What is the line of sight in this case? The line drawn from the eye to the base of the post is the line of sight when the person is looking at the base. In this case, the angle formed between the line of sight and the horizontal line is called the angle of depression. Yes, when the person is looking down, angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is angle of depression. The line of sight is below the horizontal line. Let us have some examples to check if you understood the concept of angle of elevation and angle of depression. Suppose a girl is standing in a balcony of a bungalow and look at a neighboring building which is taller than her bungalow. But she looks at the top of the building, the line of sight is this one. And when she is looking at the bottom of the building, the line of sight is this one. And this is the horizontal line. Let us denote the angles formed here by angle A and angle B. Now, which among these is the angle of elevation and which is the angle of depression? So, the angle of elevation here is angle A, which is formed when she's looking up, while the angle of depression here is angle B, which is formed when she's looking down. Now that you already know the concepts of angle of elevation and angle of depression, let us have some word problems involving angle of elevation and depression. From the top of a fire tower, a forest ranger sees his partner on the ground at an angle of depression of 40 degrees. If the tower is 45 feet in height, how far is the partner from the base of the tower? So first, let us illustrate this situation. So we have here the fire tower and the partner of the forest ranger which says here that a forest ranger, which is this one, sees his partner on the ground at the angle of depression 40 degrees. So this will be the line of sight of the forest ranger, such that we have here the angle of depression. So it means 40 degrees should be below the horizontal line. And since here is the forest ranger, then the horizontal line will be this one and the angle formed here is 40 degrees next if the tower is 45 feet in height so we have here the height of the tower which is 45 feet so we are asked 
for how far the partner from the base of the tower. Then, we need to find the distance of his partner to the base of the tower. And let us name it as X. Now, let us get the right triangle formed from this illustration. So, we have here this one such that this triangle is a right triangle since the horizontal here is parallel to the line here then we can say that this angle is equal to 40 degrees by alternate interior angles and since we are asked to find the length of this one then let us see the relationship of the length 45 feet and x here with respect to angle 40 here so since 40 degrees here is our reference angle, then X here is the adjacent side of this right triangle with respect to this angle, while 45 feet is the length of the opposite side. So we have here opposite and adjacent. Then the functions that we must use in trigonometry is the tangent function, such that tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent in which theta is equal to 40 degrees, the length of opposite side is equal to 45 feet, and the length of adjacent side is equal to x. Therefore, we have here tangent 40 is equal to 45 over x. So for us to make the denominator equal to 1, then let us multiply both sides by x. Therefore, we will have tangent 40 times x is equal to 45. Using scientific calculator, let us find the value of tangent 40, which is equal to 0 0.839 times x here, which is equal to 45. So for us to isolate x here, let us divide both sides by 0 0.839. And 45 divided by 0 0.839 is equal to 53.64 in nearest hundreds and that is equal to x therefore the distance of the partner from the base of the tower is 53.64 feet let us have example number three a boat is 500 meters from the base of a cliff jackie who is sitting in the boat notices that angle of elevation to the top of the cliff is 32 degrees and 15 minutes how high is the cliff? Give your answer to the nearest meter. Again, let us draw a sketch that illustrates this situation. So we have here a boat and a cliff, in which from the problem, a boat is 500 meters from the base of a cliff. So from here, the boat is 500 meters away from the base of a cliff. And Jackie, who is sitting in the boat, Notice says that the angle of elevation to the top of the cliff is 32 degrees and 15 minutes. Then, the line of sight is this one. And since we have here angle of elevation, it means the angle 32 degrees 15 minutes is above the horizontal line. Therefore, this angle is equal to 32 degrees 15 minutes. Now, let us find out how high is the cliff. So let us have here x since we don't know the height of the cliff. Now, let us get the right triangle formed from this illustration. So we have here this right triangle such that the given angle here is, is 32 degrees 15 minutes. And this will be our reference angle to get the length of x here. Given here x and 500 meter in which this side is the adjacent side with respect to this angle while x here is the opposite side also with respect to angle 32 degrees 15 minutes so once again we have your opposite and adjacent therefore we will use the tangent function to find the length of side x then we will have here tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent such that theta is equal to 32 degrees 15 minutes while the opposite side has length equal to x and adjacent side has length equal to 500 meters then we have 
tangent 32 degrees 15 minutes is equal to x over 500. So let us multiply both sides by 500 to make this denominator equal to 1. Therefore, we will have 500 times tangent 32 degrees 15 minutes is equal to x. Using scientific calculator, let us find the value of this one. Tangent 32 degrees 15 minutes is equal to 0 0.631. Multiply it by 500 and round off our answers to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, we will have here x is equal to 315.48. And since we are asked to give our answer to the nearest meter, then the cliff is 315 meters high. This time, let us have our last example. A passenger on a ship observes a 1,800 meter high lighthouse that stands on a hill which is 3,700 meters away from the ship. Find the angle of elevation of the lighthouse from the ship. So let us illustrate the problem first. So we have here the lighthouse and the ship, such that from the problem, the passenger on a ship observes a 1,800 meter high lighthouse. Therefore, the height of this lighthouse is equal to 1,800 meter. And this lighthouse is 3,700 meters away from the ship. Therefore, the distance of these two is 3,700 meters. And we are asked to find the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse from the ship. So let us have the angle of elevation from the top of the lighthouse to the ship. So since we are asked for the angle of elevation, then it should be above the horizontal line. So if this is our horizontal line, then the angle of elevation is this one. Let us name it as theta, since we don't know yet the measure of this angle. Now, let us get the right triangle that we have here. So this will be the right triangle, such that we are asked for the measure of this angle theta. With respect to angle theta, then the adjacent side of this triangle is this one with length equal to 3,700 meters. While the length of 1,800 meters is a length of the opposite side from this right triangle. So we have here the opposite side and the adjacent side. Then we will use once again tangent function to find the measure of angle theta here such that tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. The length of opposite side is equal to 1,800 meters, while the length of adjacent side is equal to 3,700 meters. Therefore, we will have tangent theta is equal to 1,800 over 3,700. Let us divide 1,800 by 3,700. We will have tangent theta, which is equal to 0 0.4865. Now, let us find the measure of an angle whose tangent theta is equal to 0 0.4865 using our scientific calculator, such that angle theta is equal to 25.94 degrees. Therefore, the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse from the ship is 25.94 degrees. So that is how we solve problems involving angle of elevation and angle of depression. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. See you again in my next video. Bye!